Hey! Today I'm very happy because Brian has a surprise for me. Nothing special. I don't know what it is, but I've known for a week. He was like, we have something to do on Friday. Just keep yourself free. I like it because it makes me feel special. It's not even about the surprise, it's about the fact that he thought about his love. I just hope she's not disappointed because when you hear there's a surprise, you get your hopes up, but... I'll not. be happy anyways. We're going for a walk. It's raining. Just kidding. I only know that we need to leave after the fantasy football draft. Check last year's vlog at the same time for the same thing. The coffee <laughs> vlog, I think. And I still don't know what it is. I think I'll link the vlog here. See you later when we leave the house. We're going! I don't know where, but I guess it's not a restaurant because now he just told me that we should stop at a convenience store to have a snack. Snack? Or lunch because it's different for me basically a lunch it's not a restaurant but also it looks like it could rain so I hope it's not a walk in the park he won't give I'm me sorry. any information yeah. I'm excited is it a theater no is it a boat no her expectations she thinks I'd take her on a boat. Is it a cafe? Mm. What kind of cafe? I didn't say yes. Is it an onsen? No. But once you finish that, we should go. Oh, we're late. Okay, sorry. If you hate it, don't worry. And I know we're not spending the night. No, Sonia. Your hope, her hopes are too high. Are we spending the night somewhere? Are we going on a boat? It's like once you see it, you'll be like, oh. I don't know. It just dawned on me. What? Where we're going. We're going to have a tea ceremony. No. No? That's a random guess. Why'd you guess that? And she was convinced I was right. Like when she started saying that, I was like, you're not gonna get it. I think it's more fun than that. More fun, less classical. And I told him if it's skydiving, I'm not gonna do it. And here we are. A Starbucks? I told you, don't get excited. I'll give you a hint. This will be the first time either of us have been to one of these and it'll probably be the last unless we like extremely like it. A made cafe. I can't say yes or no. You're warming up though. Ooh. Warming up. Looks like we're close. Oh, here we are. It's a pig cafe. <laughs> Pig <laughs> Oh my god, I love little piggies. That was a cool idea. Yes, I never touched a little pig. I hope they're friendly. Let's, Let's go. go. When you get there, they ask you to wash your hands carefully before you meet the pigs. And also they give you a list of instructions on how to interact with the pigs so that they don't get too stressed, like pet them but don't pick them up and stuff like that. I thought it was very useful because I saw that people were overall respecting the rules. They were the cutest little animals! Like, I just wanted to hug them and pet them. When you enter the place where they are, you have to take off your shoes and they give you a blanket so that they don't scratch you with their hooves. He likes me. I like you. He's just resting right here. He likes oh it. Oh my god. You have to order a drink. So total for one hour, we pretty much spent 2,000 yen each. $20 each. This guy just jumped on Brian. But it was worth it. He's licking my leg. I want the little pig. The staff working there was very friendly and they would give us information about the pigs that we were petting, like how old they were and their personality. He's to give away. He just stole his spot. Sonia has two little sons. 
Micro pigs like small places and that's why they like to stay in between your legs. This little guy here, he was there because he wanted to be there. I didn't have any food and he stayed for a solid 20 minutes. They're all here. Sonia's, Sonia's being bombarded. Sonia has four pigs on her. I am no pig expert, but the pigs would take turns to be with the customers and most of them, I feel like they wanted to be petted. And they knew the staff working there very well. They love you. That was a relaxing experience. That was this little pig, Kuro. He loved me and I was trying to make him feel relaxed. So I was like, feel the pee so that you stay on my lap. And I got very relaxed. Now we're here and we don't know what to do, but I just want to say that I'm so thankful that I have a baby who thinks about surprising me and who knows that taking me to a micro pig cafe will make me happy. <laughs> we're going to Shibuya to buy some souvenirs. Brian, how can you still eat pork after today? It's delicious. Will you still eat pork? Mm, yes, obviously. They're cute, but I don't eat micro pigs, I eat those fat pigs. It's the same, just a different scale. I'm sorry. We went to Shibuya because we wanted to buy some presents for our Taiwanese friends because we're going to Taiwan in just a few days and we went to this place called Loft that's huge it's like nine floors and they sell everything pretty much like beauty products, stationery, souvenirs, cheap stuff, expensive stuff and all high quality so I recommend going there for your souvenirs Girls in Japan use these little fans all summer. Do they really help? I doubt it. What'd you get? Presents! Let's walk out through this way. I can't wait to go to Taiwan. After that, since it was still early, we decided to take a walk and we went to Shibuya Ichimaru-kyu or Shibuya 109. It's a big shopping center, they sell clothes mainly for women, actually maybe for women only, but if you're into women's fashion and if you're into Japanese fashion, this is the perfect place for you to go. It's big, it's huge actually, it's not too expensive, but since it's like 10 floors, make sure your boyfriend has something to do if he comes with you or that he's at least into fashion, because it might take a while to see all the shops. You know what I would want right now? Chicken. No, I would want those shoes with the wheels yeah, under the too. soles. Do you guys remember those shoes? When I was a kid, it was a big thing. Oh, I remember those. Heelys? I don't remember the name. For dinner, you already know, we went to eat sushi. Guys, I decided to get hamburger sushi for the first time. Is it good? People were full and tired and happy and we were little pigs. I wanna go that So <laughs> we're gonna go home and go to sleep. Thank you for watching. Hey, it's gonna blow. Got a lot. You're my romantic chicken after all.